I feel that the industry is obviously, you, you know, has, has, a, has a basis in, in a, a class that's probably a little bit more middle to upper, of course, but I feel like there's a lot of working class people that are coming through. There's a lot of people that are getting into the industry. You know, every time we do a film, we try and make sure our crew is as diverse as possible from, from class to, to, to uh, ability to, to colour, and, and, and that's what we do. If you look at the, you know, the big stars at the moment, you know, Damien Lewis, Benedict Cumberbatch, yeah. Eddie Redmayne, um, the, these, well, are, these are privileged people on the whole, aren't they? Well, and they're, I, they're great actors. They're wonderful actors. But... Well, I wasn't in their life, so I don't know how privileged they are, but I mean, uh, I'm assuming you include Idris in there and Chiwetel and David Oyelowo and, and David Harewood. Well, and... a lot of those people have said they, they can't get opportunities here and they've gone to America. You know, David's been here saying there aren't opportunities for, well, particularly in his case, he was talking about black actors. You know, is, that, is that something you've experienced yourself? Um, I've worked pretty consistently uh, throughout my career. I mean, I don't really, you know, David will, will, have his, will have his opinion and his opinion is valid for him. For me, I like to just get on with what I'm doing, so I don't really focus on, on what's not happening. I just try and make things happen. There's an argument about the way working class black people in particular are portrayed. Chukra Munna, the Labour politician, uh, some time ago said, you know, that we had to escape the lazy stereotypes of the way black people are portrayed as violent, drug dealing, criminal. Um, has he got a point? Um, I, I feel like there, you know, there was a lot of shows in the past that may have, you know, had a had a portrayal of 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 people of colour a certain way. But I feel like, you know, again, I, I think that times are changing and, and people are changing, and I don't think we should look necessarily. Is it's not that anyone should ever forget what's happened in the past, but you should definitely look forward and try and make things make things as positive as you can. Um, where do you think films like Kid Adulthood and Adulthood sit in that? Were you were you at all guilty of stereotyping? Uh, no, not at all. And the reason I say no is because society informed the films. Uh, the films were not informed by society. The, the things, the issues in those films were already happening and those films basically were highlighting the issue. And, you know, those films actually put a lot of people on the map. You know, they made a, a, a genre of films come out where a lot of people got work and were able to work. And when, when they ran their course, they ran their course. What are you most proud of? Doing. I mean, when you, when you came in here, you, you, you actually, rather than this image, you wanted to, to have the other image from Doctor Who. Is that, is that, is that what you're more, you're more proud of? I'm proud of everything I've done. Even, even the films that people might think are mistakes, are, for me, they're not mistakes. I'm proud of everything I've done. Um, for me, that if I'm going to be here, then I need to be represented for everything I do, and Doctor Who is part of what I do, and Kid Oil is part of what I do. But having one image on the screen doesn't represent me. And do you resist... Um, being seen as a black actor or director specifically? No, I, I can, how can I resist being seen as a black actor or director? Well, or being defined as that, I mean... Well, I don't think anyone should be defined by anything. I don't see you as an Asian newscaster. You're a, you're a news reporter, that's, or, or you know, you're a, you're a journalist, you, you know. I don't, I don't look at your colour, you just, that, that, your job is what you are. I understand what you mean. You've talked about class and you've talked about the difficulties of overcoming being working class and getting into this industry. You, you didn't talk about any particular difficulty with being black? And is that because you didn't feel it? Um, I, I don't feel like I have always felt it. You know, there are times when you go for meetings, but I mean, I've done jobs like I'd be the same pet, which was, you know, you could argue was a really big, you know, if you, wanna, if you want to break it down into race, you could argue it was a really big white show. You know, I was in that show, I was in Doctor Who, and I think the industry is evolving like the, like the country's evolving, like the world's evolving. So, you know, for me, I always try to take the positive out of it and, and, and look at the glass as half full as opposed to half empty. And, and so I, I think things are moving forward.